Google Earth has come to VR. All of it. The whole Earth. All of it in VR. With its 3D model buildings and everything. Which means that I can stand in a city like Godzilla. Appropriately, this is Tokyo. But look, there's tiny little buildings down there. And they're, they're, they're to, I can touch the building and it's here and they're... They're the size of me. I've never walked around the Earth the size of a building before. And now I can. And look now, I'm even bigger! Look at the tiny building down there, all the way down there, and... Everything's so small, and... Beautiful, and it goes on practically ever. This is amazing! This is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life! Now we're in Assassin's Creed! It... It's mind-blowing! This is the best thing! But there are many, many things, and now we finally decided that this is it! This is the best one! Uh, what's currently playing now is a bit of a, a tour. It's the welcome tour. It takes you around the place. From uh, Florence there to wherever we are now. Deepest, darkest Peru. As the sun sets and space comes out. Because there's always space, isn't there? It's a VR game. That's the rule. It always has to be space. God, look at that light. Woo! Alright, now we're on a... Uh... Holy crap. Now, where are we now? California! Half Dome! I'm small, I feel small, although I think they're full-size rocks down there. But I'm still that sort of godzilla kind of size. Now I'm definitely that godzilla because of- Look at this! This is insane! There's a tiny little- There's a tiny little track! It's so close to it and everything! It's like little bits of broccoli sticking out, they gone forever! Oh! Oh, VR, man! I, I can't- Again, it's- I'm, I'm here! I'm standing here! This is the best VR. This is it. This is this is the best VR. I'm, I'm massive. You can see the Earth stretch out for miles. I suppose that's all California, really. Look at it! God, it's all like that there. There's a little town of trees. And now, it's in front of me. Size of a building. A very large building at that. Stretches all the way off down there. It's the Earth. A lot of it. Ah. And now on a much smaller scale, sort of the size of a car, the earth itself. That's the opening. That's like the opening cutscene. Alright, where the fuck are my floor bonds? You, you can actually see the floor bonds for the first. You see that? Ooh, it's not there. I've turned them to only come on when I get super close because they're actually visible for once in a recording. This is what I see. This is the area I get to walk around in. Actually, I'm supposed to avoid that area. There's some shit set up there that I can't move. Um. <laughs> This is normally the area I'll have to set up in. Right, uh, there's the tours. There's a, a few of the tours you go to take places, or we can go to places. So we can go to, say, Manhattan, and we will be taken to Manhattan. And this is Manhattan. It loads up like it does from the uh, Google servers. You give it a minute while it all pops in. A lot of popping in this game. Ooh. This is Manhattan, and there's there's thing, and there's about 50,000 miles. Well, actually, we'll drag her closer. Is the uh, Statue of Liberty. Just seeing it. Hello! You right, love? Good. Tiny little thing. I thought it was bigger than that, but... <laughs> I, do like, I do like that this game has a, a very, 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 very good zoom. So, as you can see, like, because it's all been moulded automatically, it's not super great when you get down close. The game actually sort of locks you into sort of this kind of height. However, in the options, you can change it so you go to the ground. So, if we pick a nice space, there's a nice open space there. And we go in, and in, and in. It's scaling up as we do this. So now I'm standing on the ground. You can see the building isn't great, but I'm now standing with massive buildings over there. Just massive. Just insane. I'm standing in New York City, and somewhere over there's the Statue of Liberty, but it's so incredibly tiny, I can't see it. Oh, you're see actually, what you're seeing, if you can, uh, if I do that, ooh, you can see as I'm moving, there's sort of a, a thingy appearing around the side. That thingy that's appearing around the side, that... The, basically the lack of image. It's taking away uh, like this the corner of my view, my, almost my peripheral vision. I kind of, you actually see a little bit more than me, but I'm kind of just seeing this sort of middle section. I can see a little bit of it around there, but it's taking away my peripheral vision and that's a way of dealing with motion sickness because flying around like this with this mode off would make me feel, whoa, ah, would make me feel desperately ill. But having that mode on means that I actually don't feel sick at all and I can fling myself around and I can then Ooh, stand on building. That's scaled up quite terrifyingly as I got close to it. There we go! So that is now... Holy 
Holy shit. This building is not up to code. Yeah, that's... That's a mile to the ground. That's miles away. I can look out upon all this. <laughs> it's just... It's the scaling. So if I say it's, it's, I fly over here a little bit, hang on. Let's fly the same here. Whoa! Now this is this size. It's sort of, the scale pops depending on where you currently are. So now I'm sort of, I can rest my arm on this thing. And five minutes ago, I was standing there people-sized. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. A thing that I absolutely love doing is pressing this button. Tilt Earth up. So right now, my floor is down there. And now, ah! Okay, oh, okay. Straight up. So now the floor is nothing. So that's down. That's all the way down. That's to the side. That's above me. Oh, that's really, I cut that. I can't explain the distance I'm seeing. It's just forever. It's just gone. But now I can see in front of me, I can see all these things. So I can see all the good little mapsy kind of places. I can see just everything. And I can push a button. Whoop, and I can go into it again. And I can stand above Manhattan. Oh, I was still in something disgusting there. Ugh. Right, I am now standing in the middle of the lake in Central Park. It's very nice. This is the uh, Sandra Park Lake. Somebody filled it with Scrabble tiles the other day. No idea who that was, but... Oh well. Back in the days is when they recorded it, so Scrabble tileless. I'm bumping away. <laughs> it's madness. It's absolute madness. You can go anywhere. The whole world is yours to explore. All of it. Everything. Brilliant. So brilliant. Where's the Ghetto Life building? Is it you? No, it's not you. Ah, oh, there it is. That's the one. So I only know about these things from uh, MetLife. Yeah, I know about these from the old uh, video games. So that's now, hang on, if we go down a bit, that's now the size of me. There, that's that's my height. Floor to ceiling, that is the height of a person. If I now go onto the top of it, clever, and then whoosh into it, ooh, it has to pop me through a little bit, but now I'm standing on it. And now I can go right to the edge of it. Careful, 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 careful. And now I can see. Oh, wow! A lot of VR, like a lot of people when you put them in VR for the first time, refuse to step over things. They're like, oh, I don't want to step over the thing. Literally, people will not take that little step. It's not there. I know it's not there, but... This is done so well, it's actually just that little bit too unnerving for me. If somebody pushed me right now, I would poo. I would poo forever. Ah, there's the Empire State Building. I found it. I've always wanted to know how big it is. So we can actually, I mean, we can stand on top of it. Or stand next to it. Oh, or it could just be right here in front of me. Is that loads of people on it? Is it? Are people allowed onto this? Well, I assume people would be allowed onto that, but yeah. It's, uh, let's fly down to the ground. Now, the ground isn't as well modelled. Yeah, actually, what they did was they modelled this just after the Avengers had been through, which was uh, a big mistake on Google's part. Should have waited till the clean up operation happened. But, uh, that, wow, is the, uh, <laughs> state building. And it's massive, and it's really there. It doesn't have bottom half right now, there we go. Empire State Building. And now I've seen how big that is from ground level. It's really big, it's actually fucking big. I tried to do it, I, you know, I'm not gonna do it Godzilla Raw. Actually, I'd be really scared, I'd just be like, ah! and they'd be like, oh, the fuck? I mean, imagine if I just came around a building like, ooh, hello. You'd, everybody here would just immediately die. And it would be gently hilarious. Not for their families, but for me. That, that's just a corridor of endless wanderings. Problem is I now have to look for my little red line. I'm trapped. I want to walk down there forever. I mean, I can fly down there and I can drag it down there. I don't want to walk. I want to walk through this place, man. I want to go and, and I meet Spider-Man or whatever the fuck happens in that building. Where's the bit with all the adverts and bollocks as I swing from building to building? Is it here? I know it's like a triangle-y shape, but no, there should be more adverts than that, surely. Well, there's one advert. How many is that? No, I don't think so. I hit a desk there. <laughs> Gotta pay attention to where I am. Oh, 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 there it is. That's, like, that's gotta be Times Square, right? It's a bit, it's a little bit of a disaster thing, but. Yes, yeah, so there's an advert for Matilda. A wonderful, wonderful production. You should absolutely go see. Yeah, this is, this is actually the night after New Year's in New York. Uh, which is unfortunate, but there's adverts for Chicago and there's a new Howl out. And that's an advert for something over there. Uh, Hershey's. There's a Hershey's thing over there. <gasps> Reese's Pieces! Nom, 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 nom. How do I get in? I'm on the pieces. Oh my god, look down there. Holy crap, that's a long one. Oh, I went forward a bit too far. 
Oh uh, well, see VR I have those moments all the time. But when you're this far off the ground, that is that is quite the moment to have. <laughs> Oh man, I, I also, i like to point out, I don't think I mentioned it yet, that this is completely free if you have a headset. Google Earth VR on Steam is absolutely free. Let's drag this and then drag it over a bit and zoom out a little bit so now the building is here! So we were standing on it now. Yeah, this is a free thing. You can just piss around on the planet Earth and do whatever the hell you want. What would you do? You've got the whole Earth to visit. You can go anywhere. What do we do? Let's go to Disneyland. Right, that's America. I can tell because it says United States. California's on this bit somewhere. So I'm going to zoom in a bit until it tells me. Oregon. There's a good trail there. California. San Francisco. LA. There it is. Right. Anaheim. It was in Anaheim. I went to this one. It's in Anaheim. Right, let's just go like that. And then let's have a look around. Where the... Ah, what does Disneyland look like from the top? Oh, it could be that. Marvels. Is this Disneyland or Disney World? Oh, it is this! Oh, hey! Oh, I went here once before. There's the monorail! And then there's all the diseased trees that they had there, which is a weird exhibit. Hang on, let's zoom out. And then... Ah, oh, look! How delightful. I do like that this does look like a bit like a post-apocalyptic wasteland version of Disneyland, but it all kind of does. All of it kind of does. In fact, you can also, if you find the sun, I mean, you can split the sky while I like click the sun, you can drag and change the time, so if you want to visit at sunset, there you go. If you want to visit at night where there's crippling no lights on because all the humans are dead, you can do that as well. Ah, oh, oh. It's worth visiting some places at night because... Damn. Got a castle here of Disneyland. Isn't it like, it's not actually super tall. You think it's super tall, but it's actually built so when you're on the ground it looks taller or something. I mean, that's, it's not a great example of it because that one's not been super modelled, but... I think actually the one in France has been modelled. Maybe we should have gone on that. Oh, there's that mountain! Hang on, we can stand on the mountain. We can actually be on the mountain at mountain height. So this is how big that mountain is. Ooh, climbing, climbing. It's actually a volcano! Jesus, they should have told us that. And you go, and you can have a better look over at the old, uh, over at Disneyland slash world. I don't know which one's which. There's the Michael Jackson Center of Excellence, and there's the fairy bit. Somewhere over there is the terrifying Toon World. Oh, man, I love that Toon bit. Because if you go down, wee, it's got these hills in the background. Oh my god, that actually looks quite good. It kind of, it throws you, because everything, actually this is, they've modelled this perfectly. What the hell's going on? They've, because uh, they, they've got these like fake uh, mountains in the background. You kind of get sucked into the reality. <gasps> oh my god, this is how they're held up. Oh, I'm breaking my love, I'm breaking my illusions. And there's a van. But yeah, you just sort of get sucked into the reality. So as you come through sort of this little tunnel a bit, you just see these and you're sort of in this world. And it's, I found that to be one of the most surreal experiences of my life. Absolutely loved it. And I, I recognise this. I would like to point out that it does look kind of like a moulded mess and you're not really supposed to be going down this level, but I recognise this. And I, I, I visited my old school, just outside my old school. And as much as it kind of has these sort of jaggedy blobs and stuff, I completely and utterly recognised it. I recognised how everything, how all the buildings in the distance were. I recognised the whole lot. And it's, it felt so weird. I mean, I got a tear in my eye. It was, it was beautiful. I was back. I like that. That's... I'm glad that I can visit these places again. And this is only gonna get better. It's only gonna get better moulded. This is like the start of it. Pretty cool thing to see. I mean, you got the other side. I never went to this side. I was only there for a day. Actually, I was supposed to be at VidCon. In fact, I can probably work out how to get back to VidCon, because it was just down the road and then off to the side, wasn't it? Gives it some sort of centre thing. Oh my god, there's a big... Was that me? Or was it this place? I can't remember. I walked over and then there was a big centre of something. I, crossed... I think it was actually a bit further down the road then, maybe. Was it there? Ah, it was there! There we go! That's where VidCon town, isn't it? Yes, that's the VidCon, and then that's uh, Hilton Hotel, and I stayed in that hotel. Actually, I've been here. <laughs> it's the only place in America I've really been to. And it looked kind of like this, actually, apart from the fact the trees looked a little less diseased. Another way of navigating the game one, instead of just uh, flinging yourself around the actual earth, is you can point and click anywhere in the world that you kind of fancy going with this, or in the menu, as I've shown before, there's certain places you can go. Uh, like the Hollywood sign. Well, we're in LA, we might as well go to the Hollywood sign! And there's the Hollywood sign, let it load itself in. And there we are. The Hollywood sign! And then there's... Not LA, it's over there! That's like the main bit of LA, it's over there! If we go over to that bit, whoosh. Whoosh. Now oh, these load up for a while. Isn't this the main bit? Oh my god, I've lost LA. Well, if it's not this bit, then where the bloody hell is LA? I always thought it was, like, opposite it, thanks to GTA 5. But it looks like it's not, so where's the big... 
Oh, yeah, really? It's in LA, isn't it? The Hollywood sign. Oh my god, I lost the Hollywood sign now. That's some water. Oh, there it is. There's a little Hollywood sign. Ding! Okay, now I've missed the Hollywood sign. Hang on, let's just stand next to it. Marvellous. A bit bigger than I thought. Yeah, it should be there. That one's Nick Los Angeles. Right, so Hollywood sign is up there somewhere. And then that was the bit that I thought it was. And this is central LA. Actually, this is Wiltshire in England. Interesting. Oh, is that it over there? Hang on, let's just, uh... Yeah, wait, there. Bring me, bring me there. Is this the bit that I know I was? Yeah, that looks like... Yeah, there we go! Hey. All right, so where the fuck's that the Hollywood sign? Is the Hollywood sign all over there? Yeah, Hollywood sign's there. It's over there. So far, it doesn't even bloody load. Christ on a bike, it's not! I thought it was next door! Rockstar, you lied to me! Yeah, so it's somewhere over in that direction. Hollywood sign over there. It's amazing I don't know how things connect together in the world. I find that stunning. Actually, I'll tell you what is next door. Shit, are we gonna be able to find this? Shit, I genuinely don't know. Actually, I'll probably have to do it from this this way. Whoops, so there's is the Ah, there's the Universal Studios, right? This is Universal Lot, really. Ah there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is! Oh shit, I found it! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, it's Wisteria Lane! From, from Desperate Housewives. This is where they filmed Desperate Housewives. This is Wisteria Lane. It's where the plane crashed. It's where the tornado hit. Let's have a look down and see if we can see everybody's houses. Gabby's houses! Ah! Actually, it looks like the plane has hit. Very good. So this was the tornado episode where they took all this. That building's falling over. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm on Wisteria Lane. Shut up! Alright, I know I'm like a 40 year old woman when it comes to my TV and music tastes. Fuck you, I'm gonna listen to some Die Down and watch Sex in the City, I don't care. Oh. My. Terrified Christ, what is this? Crusty Land is a real place and I didn't know it existed and there it is. I was expecting to see a... Is this like a real thing? There's like just a Crusty Land. Is that a Quickie Mart? Is there a real Quickie Mart in the world? Okay, well I'm fucking fucking tickets to LA. Right, let's fly over here to Central LA, which is Hollywood sign there. Central LA, 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 LA is here. And there's the big building, which I own a thingy in, thanks to uh, weird feelings. Thanks to GTA 5. I keep putting back on top there. And now we can stand on the edge. And I'm not standing on the edge. Oh, that became a thing. I was standing on that and it was full size. And it was like, actually, it's here. Fucking weirdest shit in the world, that is. Put me on top. There we go. Thank you. Right, on the edge. Stay on the edge. There we go. Now we can look down. Oh, my God. The amount of times I have jumped off of this thing is insane. Bank of America. Probably, I don't know. As long as, they, as long as they're good at naming buildings, then it's the Bank of the America. Yeah, just put it in perspective, GTA 5 is fucking minute compared to the real LA. Okay, so that's the LA bit there. Hollywood signs all the way over there. It's not fucking there, as GTA says. The airport, I'm assuming, is 16,000 miles over there. Let's see if we can find LAX, which I have loved in video games for years. I remember it being by the coast. Hang on, can we go back into Flippy View? Because then it puts it. it Orient's north for us. Uh, is that LAX? Da 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 da! I think it's. I think. Oh hey, yeah, that'll be LAX! Because <laughs> of that little section there. I've been to this airport. I've really loved this airport because it was in Driver. The original Driver had a, a Los Angeles one. Ooh, that's a UFO. <laughs> yeah, the original Driver had a, uh, a level here and planes flew really low and you could sit and watch the planes and I would do that in a video game because I am. Incredibly boring! Oh, I'm the boringest person in the world. But here's some cool planes. Actually, we can just go and stand next to it and it'll be like a real side of the plane. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god! This is... Is this scaring anyone else? I do love getting down and seeing all the little bumps and stuff on all the little buildings. It's like... It almost looks like a circuit, the little bumps, etc. that it has. Uh, well, we're here, actually. Was that the Hollywood sign? Yeah, it was. Now it is. So that's Universal What? So there's Mysterio Lane. What I can do is I can stand here like this, and then do that. And now I have saved a place, so at any point I can now open up the menu, and I go to my saved ones, and I can go like this, and it will take me to Stereo Lane. So you can save your favourite places, etc, etc. No search function at the moment, which is slightly annoying, but um, I don't think it really matters right now. I assume it will turn up at some point. What does it say? Sam Goody. Okay. <laughs> no idea who the fuck that is. Hey, what the fuck? Why is the Incredible Hulk here? I sound good. You can fuck off. I found the Hulk. <laughs> I found Krusty over there somewhere. I found the Hulk here. Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm, I'm revealing secret films. 
Uh, that's gonna be great. We'll just see Batman and stuff. Batman and stuff. Yeah, that's the new. Oh, oh my God! I found Michael Bay's lot. Right, let's get out of America and go somewhere a little bit different. This is <laughs> Jesus Christ, and this is Rio de Janeiro in the daylight. <laughs> wow! Check that out, All right, mate. Oh, look at you, guys. He's actually just going. You want some? To the whole city. All right, steady, steady. Steady. Okay, I am now Jesus' right-hand man! And I can look out over the city from a place where I don't... I, I really doubt many people have ever stood. Actually... Well, okay, the, the technical people are coming, Jesus. You may want to turn around at some point, because, uh... Coming for you. All right, where do we want to go now? Oh, here's an island. Oh, it's Australia! Don't worry, I'm not going to throw any teapots at you. Should we have a zoom in and see what Australia has? I think it's here-ish. Yes, here it is. Oh, and then kick ourselves around, and there's Ayers Rock, which is famous for being a big rock. That's a very Australian thing, isn't it? It's like, uh, what's, your, what's your biggest landmark? Ah, oh, it's a fucking rock, mate. Yeah, we just got this big fucking rock out in the middle of fucking nowhere, and it's just a big fucking rock. It's an Irish accent, I think, at the end there. I don't know how big Ayers Rock is, so I'm going to zoom into this little bit of road here that apparently goes right past it. Uh, actually, we'll get slightly out there. I was going to get my car and have a look. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big rock. Yeah, I'd say that that was uh, quite a very large rock. A good 8 out of 10 on the large rock category, with 10 being the earth itself. Actually, well, that'll probably be about 3 then. Actually, hang on, let's have a quick zoom out. Uh, it would be a... Uh, woo, 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 woo. I'm gonna change my batteries. Yeah, it's for it's nothing. You're on a big rock, you koala fanciers. Fuck, I'm gonna lob teapots at them. Right, another new place. This up here, loading in, is uh, Mount Everest. It's really, 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 really big. That's Mount Everest. I don't think there's anything taller in the area. Can't see anything taller in the area. Yes, this. Oh, actually, no, I'll say this is it. This is Mount Everest. Uh, let me just check that. I like that I can just check that. There it is. Let's zoom out a bit. Mount Everest. Marvellous. Right, so that is Mount Everest. So if we aim for that, we can just basically climb it now and see what the view from the top of Mount Everest is like. It's like I never thought I'd do, but there we go. It's down there. Oh, not the right little point there. Holy shit. Wow, I can see why people want to climb this thing. Actual point of Mount Everest. There we go, right on the very top. Do that properly. Climbing. Look at that. This is the bit. This is them bits. Really easy. I mean, you get to there, you're like, hey. I mean, there are some difficult bits. I will. I will say, if you come up this side, that's dumb. I mean, which side would you come? Probably this little bit here. That's very straight. That's very. That's it. I could walk that. Simple. There you go. Then you can see this. Just your size and scale of it all. Whoop. Yeah, oh, actually that got a bit steeper than... <laughs> At the end there, that got a little bit steeper than I thought. And also, we do appear to be about 27,000 miles off the floor still. But I could just go like that and then, like, meet Mount Everest, my little buddy. It's just my little friend now. Hey, little, hey Mount Everest, you're my friend. Oh, who's a cute little tallest mountain in the world? You! Actually, if I keep doing that and knock it off, and it won't be anymore. Sorry. Where now? Where now? Should we go to Rome? It's Rome in Italy, is it? It's sort of middle -y. It's either up there or down there. It's there, it is there, it's right in front of me. Rome, 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 just zooming in on Rome. It's nice to do. Flip ourselves around. I don't know where anything is in Rome. I've never been. Oh! <laughs> well, I know where the Colosseum is because I'm standing in it. That's weird. Hang on, let's get right down there. Oh shit, I'm in the Colosseum. <laughs> I like the five minutes ago, I was like, where should we go? And now I'm in the Colosseum. If only actual travel was this good. And this fast. I'd travel, I'd travel everywhere. Can't do Rome without doing Gay Paris, uh, which is in France, which is up in the that. And do, 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 spin me round. Hey, I like to lean into that a little bit. Don't know why. There's the Eiffel Tower. It's been redone in a modernist style recently. Um, it's not at all, is it? Where is it? I hope we can just see it. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> I have literally no idea where things are in France. So, uh, there we go. There's the Eiffel Tower. Let's go down here. Actually, if we go that, this is where we take their photo, isn't it? Wow! Big thing. 
Well, get my view back. There we go. The Eiffel Tower, the first ever tower to be entirely made out of Meccano. It's very weird. It's also got a little bit of a Domo face going up the top there. Let's zoom up there. See what the view's like from up here. Look. Oh, clever. Oh, fuck. We've got big. Yep. There we go. Oh, wow. Let's actually just have a pop down here. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> this. I don't think this ever gets old. Just looking around the city from a height. God. I have no idea who this is. That's a swimming pool. That's the Museum of Ducks. And over there is um, the Large Hadron Collider. You see the small Hadron Collider over there, the large one's over there! It's in Switzerland, isn't it? Yeah, shut up. Well, this one's inevitable. Whoa! Bit of a kick of speed there. Uh, let's head in here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to London! Oh yes, this is the town that everyone thinks is called Big Ben. This is the Houses of Bastards. And there's a big bicycle wheel that we nicked off of a giant. Uh, oh, well, actually, we've got Buckingham Palaces over here somewhere. Yes, as you can tell from this, completely fallen into disrepair. 270 million to fix that back up. Uh, this has exploded recently, which was wonderful. There's a big party here we had for the Queen's uh, Platinum Selling Jubilee, or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, what else do we have? There's so many buildings. This is, uh, this is uh, Nelson's Column. This is uh, the Portrait Gallery. It's not the Portrait Gallery. Portrait Gallery's on the side. National Gallery. This here is uh, Alexander Armstrong. Over here, where else we got? A big bridge for trains. There's, where's St. Paul's? St. Paul's over there, something, isn't it? Yeah, fuck it, let's go over here. St. Paul's Cathedral is, there it is, St. Paul's Cathedral, which is it's featured in the background of almost every shot of every TV thing. Actually, let's stand, let's stand in this building here. Up a little, up a little, up a little. This is a nice building to get some views from. There's St. Paul's. Ooh. Would you not feel in this gives me? I kind of... Anybody want to go solve a crime? Over here we've got the Shard, the uh, second largest piece of shit in England after Nigel Farage. Uh, HMS Belfast down here, which is a very large boat that we keep just here in case somebody over there fucks us off. Can't actually turn or anything, but someone over there will take him out. This is a building that sets people on fire. This is a building that we call the Gherkin for some reason. Doesn't look like a Gherkin. Looks like Dr. Bronix made a very slimline version of his uh, death egg. That's another building that kills everyone, and well, so many, so many things in London that I know. So many places I've been. I, I walk. I used to, do, I used to do a lovely walk. If you're ever in London, there's a station, train station somewhere over there. Fenchester Street's around here somewhere as well. I think that's Fenchester Street there. But if you get off at the whatever it is monument, I think it is, you can walk all the way down here. This is the uh, Tower of London here. You can walk all the way across the Tower Bridge. You can walk all the way across here, and literally go all the way along here. All the way over, past all this crap, into thingy, past Big Ben, into St. James's Park, get back in the palace, through Green Park, and there's a train station there. It's a lovely walk, and you see so many monuments. It's a beautiful walk, if you do that on a nice day, it's lovely. Um, right, the uh, Tower Bridge, did you show up on Tower Bridge? Yes, Tower Bridge in the Tower of London. Everything over here is called Tower. That's the Tower Boat, that's the Tower Hut, and that's uh, Pizza Tower. Very tasty pizza in there. I made that one up. Over here we have the finance and banking sector at all, Canary Wharf, uh, which I can now stand on the roof of and have a look around. HSBC building, uh, City building, Barclays, these are all the banks and bastards, this is where we like to keep them all. Uh, and a very famous YouTuber once lived somewhere around here. But uh, I won't name names. Uh, right, so if we, uh, whoa, fucking hell, ah, shit. I was looking at it and the scale just changed on me. Oh, it's like that. Hang on, there. There's a min, thank you. Down under there, there's a shopping centre. I didn't know that was there. It's a lovely shopping centre. It's always fucking quiet. Um, and then there's the bridge that everybody in the apprentice always has to walk down. There's JP Morgan. More suicides per square inch than anyone else in the world, apparently. And uh, over here is where I used to live. This is my old house, this block of flats. Yeah, I used to live here. I used to live right next to Canary Wharf. It was a, it was a wonderful place to live because uh, the weekends it was silent. The only people who really worked here lived here. And this was my view. I had a window that faced this way, and this was my view. And it's uncannily accurate. It's... Like, I, I, the thing that I missed the most was this view, that I, I really missed seeing across London like this, and seeing all the giant buildings in the background, watching the little train line that goes across there, and all the little bankers going to and fro. 
I miss this. I miss having these huge buildings for neighbours. I really missed this view, and this is it. This is that view. Like, this is so... Especially because considering we're up high a little bit. This is so... I'm just so happy I can see this place again. And that's what this has given me, is this place that I can now, whenever I feel like I go, I want to go see my old view, and I can see it. And you can see, you can see what I saw when I looked out my window, and I was writing things, and making videos, and spending far too much money on rent. Isn't it wonderful? I think it's actually changed now. I think there's a new building that's propped up here, and it's completely ruined that view, but... This was the view as I knew it. All right, I'm gonna just go stand on the corner of the HSBC building and have a look out as a finale. There we go, that is Google Earth VR. It's, it's stunning. If you've got a VR headset, pick it up. I don't know if it's on Oculus, I think it might be because it's got rotation controls and they're not really necessary uh, with the Vive, but it's, it's wonderful. It's completely free and it, it just, you'll get a lot of weird nostalgia out of it, which I find to be very unusual. Place where I've been before. It's, it's just, it's weird. It's almost, it's slightly dreamscape because of how like Bob was like. This is a very silvery sort of thing you can see down the shopping centre, and but it's there. This is the place that I've known and I've looked up at and I've been. It's weird, man. This is this is why I say that VR isn't the future of games. It's its own very peculiar thing. I fucking love it.